my day. Uh, I just woke up uh, 30 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. You know, had a great birthday yesterday. And uh -huh. Yeah. Still recovering? Oh, well, still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you're still young, your body can still handle that. For me, it's uh, it's always a little bit more of a risk. Yeah, always. Here, you got a squeaky chair there. <laughs> oh, you can hear that? It's okay, my bad. I think it's like voice activated, so if it's like squeaking while you're talking, there's like <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Other than that, it's yeah. fine though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness you can't hear my fan. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a pretty loud fan too, but if it's too far away, or like ambient noise, I think is uh, easier to suppress. Yo, thank you for the sub. Um, all right, but you were uh, eager to get into it, so let's do that. Um, you are a Nightwalker. Yes, I am a Nightwalker. Level two hundred and early forties. Uh, no, two thirty-two. Or 233 now. 233, okay. Mm. I had 233 last night. Okay, congrats. Right, as your birthday present to yourself? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did the last 20% last night before bed. Nice, nice, okay. Um, good. And what is your... um, What are your aspirations right now? What are you aiming for? Uh, I'm trying to get the end game, but that's a long way away. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm just trying to get, like, a uh, finish of um, 17 starring all my equips. Mm -hmm. And then going into normal lo uh, normal Lucid and getting equips from there. And then going to get Arcane soon because I have, like, 70-something droplets. And just aiming and to get the weapon? Yeah, to get weapon, right? Mm-hmm. And then from there, I'll go into hard bosses. That's mm -hmm. like a couple of years away, but still. <laughs> have you practiced? You know. uh, have you practiced normal lucid at all, or? Oh yeah, I've already killed normal lucid okay. three times. Okay. So. You just gauge where you're at, and um, like how much time do you have to play? Do you have like a one PC setup, two PC setup? Like, what does your setup look like? So I have uh, two PCs, um, but I have two monitors, so I switch between one pc and two pc depending on when i want to do two pcs yep and when my stream is live of course yeah well yeah exactly <laughs> then the Watch other pc's on gotta monitor. go yeah yeah <laughs> uh okay so so you have access to um to akana at the higher levels where you are now as well uh i don't have akana yet i'm slowly making one okay and it's like 218 right now Okay, but you finished the the terror burn and everything, so yeah, you got a nice jump start. Mm -hmm. And then you can like drag it through CRA, um, exchange carries with someone, etc. My con actually has perm CRA already okay. from the last terror burn. Oh, oh, last terror burn. Okay, yeah, that's when my yeah. mine was during some terror burn somewhere as well. Yeah. Yeah, it okay. gave you permanent CRA gear. Yep, they change that up a little bit every time, make it a little bit different. Okay, um, and, okay, so, so, and so, so far you've just been doing the totems, and just training and grinding during the totems, I guess? Yeah, so I actually have mezzo gear, so I actually mezzo farm on the totems, mm -hmm. and level at the same time. Yeah, so essentially just training, because it doesn't really go at the expense of your killing speed, I assume? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're just making a little bit more money while you're training, okay? And mm -hmm. then you use the kana if you're like working on your legion and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So I use that to get my one uh, forties. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And is that a Absolab Katara? I see. No. Oh, uh, what is what is this? Uh, thing? weapon. I'm pretty sure. Oh, but wait. Maybe it's like a one-handed sword. Is it? <laughs> Wait, somebody's like, <laughs> who is this? Oh, this is the other person in your screenshots who's like standing on top of you or something. Oh, wait, is it because it's like off center? Oh, maybe somebody's standing to your right. I was like, <laughs> why am I seeing like Absolab stuff? You're a Nightwalker in the first place. What are you doing with these <laughs> things? That should not be there. But okay, I'm just my, I'm just brain farting. Okay, um, so the short term goal is like just getting stronger on Lucid. 
and just yeah finishing up some upgrade stuff and then the long-term goal just eventually is like reaching 250 being part of hard lucid hard will bosses that kind of stuff yeah exactly getting all that those bosses and then going on to hard damien and hard lotus mm -hmm. yeah that yeah by extension then hard damien and then maybe hard yeah. lotus as well could be on the table yeah um do you feel confident playing your class? Because I, I saw that the um, the movement and stuff like that was changing up a little bit in the future. If you read up oh, on yeah. that. I'm 100%. I've been playing... Uh, before this, I played uh, Night Lord on a normal servers. Mm -hmm. And then I transferred over here playing Nightwalker. Only had to get used to the sticky keys. Mm -hmm. And then I bought a keyboard for it. So that I don't even have to use sticky keys now. So. Uh-huh. And then... With, do you, so maybe you can explain to me how the the controls are going to change if you are like up to speed with it. Uh, I'm not up to speed with the new... Okay. Because uh, the way yeah, I yeah. Uh, understand it, there's something like you're able to lock into place that even when you double click your flash jump or something, that you won't go forward in the direction you're facing, but you'll just jump up only. And then oh. that way you could use it to stay in the air even more and get the, the the final damage right from being in the air without having to move around and like jump into things this is how i see it but yeah because right now you can actually jump and move while attacking mm -hmm. so you can dodge stuff while you're attacking mm -hmm. but when you're playing if it, that's actually happening then that's actually going to remove some mobility which is weird yeah, but you have like the option if you you can toggle it or not if you want to. So it's like an extra option. Oh, it's a toggle. Oh, okay, yeah, if it's no. like just built in, then I would be like, oh wow. Yeah, no, that would be. <laughs> no, I think they're doing it as an extra layer to make sure that um. Um. Yeah, to just give people more options, I guess. Is that Minecraft oh, okay. music? No, it's Nexon music, dude. This, it's piano music. This is start the adventure. All that silent piano music sounds the same. Okay, chill. Um, okay, we have um, Lydium Heart. Let's see. Okay, wait, so okay, just to get it okay in my head. So, just like the things that you're looking at right now. This is the stage we're in. Uh, oh, yeah, so, so how much money do you roughly make and what are you at right now? Uh, right now, I'm making an actual arcana on my main mm -hmm. like on my main account so that i can farm mezzos with the higher rate it's like what a hundred mil more than i'm making now i guess so right now i'm making anywhere between 550 and 600 mil an hour mm -hmm. so and is that 100 extra mil is that if i make an arcana it would make 100 mil an hour more arcana. Mm -hmm. yeah so, are, do you feel like you're going to be playing enough to make that worth it? Yeah, a hundred percent. Like I okay. play, sadly, I play twelve hours plus a day. So it's <laughs> yeah, that would become worth it after a, a bit. Yeah. Yeah. This is giving me like two weeks. Once you get to two twenty five, two thirty, whatever, mm -hmm. I should be able to make it worth. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, with how much money it costs as well to get it invested, and then. All of the time you're spending the farming, you won't get any experience on your main, right? So there's like an opportunity cost there for dedicating it that way. It's like 100 yeah. mil more, but all of your experience less, right? Yeah, but I've been taking this slow, right? Because I've had this character for two years. So mm -hmm. I just recently is when I've started leveling it. And then I don't have a Kana, so I want to make a Kana so I can actually get better rates. And mm -hmm. not have to deal with the totem anytime i want to mezzo farm or whatever yeah and then you have to lock in for two hours always mm -hmm, exactly like on the kana you can literally go afk every hour if you wanted come back do it again if you find another world yeah you're just gonna channel. find a map yeah okay all right um let's um have a look at your gear and then let's see where i think you can uh Make the most progress, and then we can talk like general progression past your current set, I guess, because that's probably where you have the most questions, I'm guessing. Yeah, and a little bit for uh, just Kana. And... Yeah. For uh, so, what part of Kana? Uh, just like uh, what's the 
best gear that I can get that I without going to like Gallix or whatever. Oh yeah. Just so I can um, actually start Arcana farming without dealing with that. Sure. The um the the two event rings right now would be great if you get those. Yeah, I have those right now. Mm -hmm. So um, I have the the old expedition from the Black Mage event, I think. Old expedition? Uh, so the expedition ring, and then oh. the glory guard ring. Like the Tenebris, uh, that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. And then the glory guard ring as well. And the glory guard, okay. And then the two event rings now. Okay, so And that's... then the two event rings now, those are my rings currently. Okay, that's pretty good, yeah. Um... Yeah, besides that, um... I guess boss accessory set bonus could be nice. Um... Or the alien fragment, I think both would work as set bonuses. The boss accessory sets give you a little bit of that percentage HP for a little bit of scaling there, and then the, um, the alien fragment has the fifty magic attack, right? Yeah. So I think both could work. Um, I don't think one is necessarily better or worse than the other. The only thing is, if you take the boss accessory set, you have a little bit of the compensation there that if you um, take the items that have flame advantage, then you can compensate a little bit for that. Uh, and the kind of the downside of the alien fragment stuff is that it's level 180, so it's pretty expensive to Star Force. Yeah. So I, I tend to advise to just stick to the boss accessory set stuff. Okay. Um, because you're well, if it's an old character, you probably don't have a badge on the character, right? Potential badge? Not on this, not on this guy or on my Kana. No. Wait, my are you Arc, I and I have a Night Lord as well. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you're talking about the Arcana now, right? Not the Kana on the second yeah. account? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Kana on the second account, I have a badge. Audible. Yeah. This one I don't, because I just made this one. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, accessory wise, you can probably stick. So the main thing for the Arcana is that you get your nodes maxed out and that you get the um, Arcane Power bonus uh, final damage. Those okay. look very so important. Just doing my dailies. Yeah, that's that's like one of the most important things. And then besides that, um, you probably only need like 16k stat or something, from what I heard. 16 to 18, like at the worst, uh, as long as your boost nodes are high up and your uh, arcane power is where it needs to be, then you don't need like crazy amounts of stats. Okay, that's really good to hear then. Yeah. I think you can actually do that fully, like without even needing Abzo, as long as everything else is like decently upgraded. Of course, you can, if you can get carried and you have hookups and you know you know people who can take you, that'll make it easier. Um, but it's not even a hundred percent necessary. I could technically trade. Now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if I mean if that speeds up your process and the whole point is you know to make money, then you can get to the point faster and make start making money faster. So that could work. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know which, uh, nodes you're looking for? Uh, for my Arcana? Yeah. Um, is it the boss? Um, yes, one for one so far. Uh, I'm just have to look up Kana abilities because I don't know them off my heart. <laughs> but, the uh, charm, you know, the one that, like, stops for a second and explodes. Yeah, exorcist uh, charm. Yeah, Exorcist Charm, and then there's Kishin, mm -hmm. and... Your main attack skill? Yeah, main attack, there's Shikigami. Shikigami right? Hunting, yeah. Yeah. And then you have room uh, for two more. Uh, I don't know the other two. Shit, now you're putting me on the spot. It's definitely Yos <laughs> Yosuzume, and then uh, Tengu. Oh, okay, yeah, Tengu. Okay. That's your six. So any combination of those four nodes, uh, four boost nodes total, all maxed. Boom, done. Uh, and domain, of course, important to to max so it lasts longer. Yeah, I've been using all my nodes on my Kana. Whenever I get like a domain, I put it on. Yep. Are you um? How are you in like the juniper department? You're making wealth pots. No, uh -huh. I have the do that on all my characters yeah so what i always do is just harvest whenever i see big flowers big veins just always harvest so you can get a little bit of natural income that way um in general 
uh, it'll be it would be a good idea to go through maps where a lot of people train, where people maybe don't have the professions yet, um, and then you can harvest them there. You know, just maps that are very busy, where people feel like uh, I'm I'm trying to train here to get good rates, so every single thing I do that is not grinding is gonna be like a waste, so I'm not gonna do that. In those maps, typically there's a lot of flowers and veins where you can harvest, um, and the best would be the gold flowers because those can drop like stacks of the oils already if you get lucky so oh, okay. that's where that's the most it. value is in yeah uh, also sometimes maps that lead up to bosses where a lot of people just walk through because they're going to the boss just maps that have a lot of traffic tend to have a lot of flowers and veins and if it's just something that people use to pass through or because they're busy training then those tend to keep the flowers and veins and then you can just harvest those if you cc through those maps like the map before uh, where the portal is to madman ramaru for example because people just like load in and then jump down and go in, but like the more people go in, the you know the more they tend to spawn. So. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, but of course, now that I mentioned that map, other people are gonna go there, and maybe the map becomes shit because of that. So you know, you always gotta find. But those are the types of maps that you're like looking for. Because um, oh, okay. yeah, they'll they'll definitely um, if you're gonna be dedicated. Uh, so I guess it'll have more value for your um, Nightwalker then, right? Because if the Connor you're just doing like intermittently, I want to do half an hour, I want to do an hour. But if you're doing an actual two hour session and you're going to sit there and commit with a Nightwalker, um, you could, it's probably better to use it there, right? Because it's also a two hour potion, so it synchronizes with the totems. Oh well, yeah, exactly. And then... I don't know if you have any no, no. recipes already for the, for the potions. Uh, I should have like 40 at least. Yeah, if you just did decent amount of bosses, any kind of bosses uh, between some characters, eventually just they just kind of stack up, yeah. You can X for them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, through okay. storage. Then I yeah. should probably have like 90 then. So yeah. I have some of my arc as well. Okay, cool, cool. Arc, ah. Man of fine choice, I see. Yeah, um, 220 arc right now. Nice. Liking it? Mm, I made it when it first came out, and then I stopped playing. Yeah, I had a rough start with it myself, like too many buttons, too many cooldowns. I was like, it's kind of strong, but it's not like entirely what I want. But then I just I kept trying different things and rearranging buttons and rearranging combos. And then at a certain moment, it just kind of clicked. And then I was like, this character is actually really damn strong. So I just yeah. kind of keep seeing where I go with this and it just, you know, keeps being fun. So, But I assume that's something you have with Nightwalker where... In the beginning, I had a lot of problems with Nightwalker too. I really didn't like like how it like worked and stuff. I probably don't even have the controls. I probably never did the controls right ever, so that's probably a big factor of it for me. Yeah, and then playing Nightwalker for six years, going into reboot, mm -hmm. I was like, I want something different, but I want something the same. So I'm like, Nightwalker. <laughs> that's basically it basically <laughs> something different but the same so different. nightwalker right yeah yeah exactly yeah that's the only one that's different and also the same <laughs> <laughs> can't argue with that uh okay uh any more kana questions um like for your yeah. hyper stats and stuff you're like you're just completely omitting all the boss damage and id and stuff like that right so you're just uh, i'm not even getting id and yeah. getting boss damage arcane Crit damage and crit, and that's it. Yeah, so for your WSE, you're just focusing hard on just full magic attack. So yeah, that that exactly. Exactly, so that makes it so that you don't have to get as high stat because your WSE is fully committed to uh, percentage magic attack, and you don't have to account for like the boss and ID you need. That's why the stat is probably a little bit lower than what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have double uh, fakes allowed on my Hana right now. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the best things you can probably do to improve your damage is to replace the fix lab of your Haku. You know how the sec okay. yeah? Do you know how the secondary works for Kana? Uh, no, I just got something to yeah. put there. Mm -hmm. So, well, once I explain it, you'll realize why the uh, fix lab is actually kind of bad for Haku. So um, the potential lines of the well, actually, all the stats that are directly on the fan, when you equip the fan as a Haku fan, they will just directly give nothing to your Kana. They will, all the stats will be grayed out if you look at it, and they will just not give you the stats. The only stats they give you is the potential stats, if it's percentage magic attack or percentage intellect. And those, okay. will, be, those will be given to you as 
you know any regular secondary potential stats would be given right if you equip those but just not the base stats of the item and then haku has a second thing where if you summon him haku he has one buff that he gives you where he gives you i think it's 40 percent, but i'm not sure on the percentage um of the total magic attack of the fan he gives it back to you as a magic attack buff so Fixalab does have decent basic magic attack and can be flamed, so that buff can be decent, but it's only a portion of the magic attack on the thing. Um, the main thing, the damage, right, is the percentage magic attack buff on the secondary. That's what's going to boost your damage the most. And since the Fixalab has the lock potential without any kind of percentage intellect or magic attack, it actually makes you miss out on a lot of damage uh, being the, the way that it is. Okay, so th would that mean that uh, Fafnir, 17 star, with like two line magic attack would be better? What you could already, yeah, I I, I can already like guarantee now that it would be better. Yeah, if you have an okay flame on it, then it'll even over, like it'll be only a little bit less than the current Fixal app that you probably have. What buff Haku is giving from that, but the the static percentage magic attack when you equip it should be better. And you you can already see this if you just um if you summon Haku, look at your range. And then um, switch the weapons out, and then um, you have to right-click the buff on the top right to make sure that it reapplies with the new weapon, and then just see what it does to your range. And your range should go up by quite a bit if you already have two lines of magic attack, yeah. Okay, that's good then. That's why it's pretty common for sometimes people in the beginning that they use a Fafnir weapon on on their main character. But yeah, because also like set bonuses don't work. Um, if you equip them on your um, on your Haku. So what a lot of people will do is they'll use Fafnir as their main weapon, and then they'll use a Sweetwater Fan as their secondary because it's level 160, so it gets those 1310 lines instead of 129. And because it mainly looks at the base stat and like a little bit flame, but in the beginning you're not flaming that much anyway, and it looks at the potential stats, therefore it's almost better to use a Sweetwater than to even go for a second Fafnir, right? Because the Fafnir has like lower magic attack, you don't get the set bonus, um, you know, there's like a whole lot of investment there for barely any gain. Uh, and then typically what people do is they get like a real Absolab. They put that on their um, on their main character. And then the Fafnir, if it has a lot of magic attack, goes on to the Haku instead. Until you get like uh, maybe a second Abzo or you get an Arcana. And then that becomes your main weapon. And then the Abzo fan slides down again, basically. Um, but yeah, the one thing that you're going to have to think about is just make sure that when you're flaming either one of those two weapons that you're always going for like tier six magic attack that's just the only thing you're looking for basically if there's some percentage damage extra that's nice but there's mainly that tier six magic attack uh do you know how much that is on Absolute? um i don't know by heart but we have a uh flame calculator made by someone from the chat so if you check exclamation mark flames there's a calculator here and then if you know um so here is the flame uh, tier uh, calculator for weapons. So here, if you do 160 plus, right, because it's Abzo, and it's going to be flame and vanish because it's Abzo uh, fan. Does anyone know? Is it Abzo lab uh, ritual fan? Is that what it is? No, ritual fan is um, it's for Ho Young, isn't it? Summoner, that's the one. Absolute Summoner. 241 base magic attack. So we put that in here. 241. So now you already see what all the tiers do. Oh, I don't know if you're watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so you'll see that if you get a 73, you know it's tier 5. 97, you know it's a tier 6. And this will only happen if you're using Eternals. Okay, so I have the tier 5 right now then. Uh, That's good to know. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, must have scrolled past it. Oh wait, this is your <laughs> Nightwalker. Of course, I wouldn't see it here. Yeah, yeah. If you have that one, yeah. <laughs> it's like, where are the fans? Why can't I see the fans in your Nightwalker equipment? <laughs> hey, let's That's not make it confusing. <laughs> it's a legal move. Yeah. First, uh, right. first the one-headed sword, then a katara, now a fan on your Nightwalker. There's yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yo, that weapon's evolving. He's like a Kadena, <laughs> like pulling all of these weapons out of the ether and like f fighting with them. Exactly. Um, yeah. But yeah, so other people might be looking for boss damage and regular damage and all of that stuff. So, 
equally like if you have a fan that has like lower attack but it has like a lot of boss damage and like a lot of um you know a lot of flat stat or something um but it's going on your haku then that just does nothing right yeah so then you can get like a better idea of like the value i guess um does everything else with with flames and everything it makes sense to you right like flame advantage flame disadvantage weapon levels the tiers and everything and the flame score does all of that make sense or no yeah it all makes sense yeah. okay cool 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 recently yeah, adjusted the the numbers a little bit for kana because i had a calculated calculation error that was in there but it's already been adjusted for in the in the calculator as well so yeah that's good uh okay you had another kana question uh no that that was everything for kana. okay for this second. okay um all right all right um yes i'm just thinking of kind of you'll probably be getting like the tyrant cape and maybe like the tyrant shoes i guess for kind of uh, unless you're going to do those trades right and you can, uh, uh, right now i have um pencil ear with uh six percent and 40. Mm -hmm. on pencil ear boots so yeah, you gotta start somewhere <laughs> yeah yeah, that'll get replaced soon. Nova boots, Tyrant boots, Ebza boots, something like that. Uh, okay, let's get to the actual Nightwalker. Let's see. Um, you have a Lydium Heart. That's like nice, but not super over-invested because of the Winter Heart hopefully coming, right? Yeah, actually, the thing that really sucks is I came back the last day of Wanderoid came out. Mm. And then I quit when it started. <laughs> so it was really awkward. So you really just hate the Wondroid event, basically? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know it came out that day, and yeah. I found out when I came back. Oh, you it it's last day, and... Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky. Yep. Oh, well. Um, emblem is two line with a line of luck. That's probably as good as it gets at this point. Uh, emblem. Are you working towards your monster park medal? Yeah, I am. Good. Any anywhere close or? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, frozen Arev Brilliance. Um, is that the best in slot secondary? Wow, that magic attack line, twelve percent. No, that hurts. Uh, so that's just under Pino. It's the second uh, best in thought. Right, right. Princess knows like 14 and 9 or something, or 14 and 8 or something. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, like in the grand scheme of things, it's not like a huge upgrade, but as far as... So that's 14 and 9, yeah. But as far as the base yeah. stats go, it's almost double, so... Yeah, I'm just keeping this uh, two line until I get a Pino. Yeah, second. exactly. So you just... Oh yeah, do you already have enough coupons, or you just do it whenever you feel like it? I haven't started the quest. Okay. I just have the um, ring, and that was it. That's all I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is the most important one, so <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cave has nice flame. Two line. Sixteen. So what you're already looking for is like this Sunday is getting everything to seventeen, right? Uh, no. Um, right now I'm trying to get a couple more pieces of uh, equips, and I'm just going to yellow to 17, just so it's cheaper. But I am getting a couple more Abso equips, so I don't have to... Oh, you're just... Okay, you're going much. backups without safeguarding? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the odds... Uh, what are the odds to boom, anyway? It's like 3.4, I think? Or 6 point something. Star Force, 160. Make sure you star catch, okay? Star you always want to star catch. Oh, yeah, always. Whenever I do something like that, I always try to star catch. From 16 to 17, no discount, 5, 10, 15. Average boom of 0 0.09. Yeah, that is so low. Having. It's actually worth just getting extra pieces of gear. Yeah. Well, not even having the coins yet, but just having the drops in your inventory in case the work. I have three of each right now, so. Yeah. We have the coins or what? Oh, uh, of the equips. Oh, you have them all made already? 
Yeah, I have them all made right oh, now, okay. waiting. <laughs> well, that will Just... save time walking to the NPC and everything, I guess. Yeah. Last 5, 10, 15, I just went to 16 on almost all my stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's why I blew up my earrings, because I forgot to safeguard trying to go to <gasps> 17 on them. Wait, your superior earrings? Uh-huh. Oh. So I've been doing Helix, and <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm at like 400 coins right now. Getting those 700 coins. No drop yet? Oh, that's so rare. No. I drop reinforced. I got reinforced. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can start force a reinforced high, right? So that when you get the uh, superior, you yeah. can just transfer them over. That's true. Yeah. Uh, couldn't I transfer my current earrings? You could. It, yeah. Yeah, but then they would get dropped down to epic, right? And you'd lose your mezzo team. Uh, no. The will o' wisp. If you scroll up. Oh, sorry. Will o' wisps. That's my drop rate. Oh, I see. And it's 9 and 6. From my mezzo rate, I mean. Mm hmm, mm hmm. 16 star this, transferred over to reinforced. 16 star the reinforced, transferred to superior. Uh, 130, 140, 150. Um, yeah, true, true. You could do that so that you, yeah, you could have it, um, if you keep it at 16 on the reinforced after the event. Uh, the, I guess you will go down to epic, but you'll go down to 6 6, so you only lose 3% stat. And you will lose your flame, so you'll probably lose about 30 luck, well, like, t even if you reflame, probably like 20 luck and like 9% luck loss. Yeah, but I should be able to get, because right now I have a superior earring trace, 30% luck. So it's, I guess I could just, if I get superior, It has 30? Yeah, 30% right now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, then you probably just don't want to... You probably just want to skip all of that. <laughs> just wait until you get another one and just transfer the trace and then safeguard it to 17. It's probably the best way to go. Yeah, I guess. Rerolling 30. And rerolling 30 is not like the end of the world because it's an accessory, so it's they're not like super rare, but it's a lot of money. And yeah. if you get unlucky, then you're just... You're just screwed, yeah. Yeah, never mind then. Yeah, the 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 percentage of the, so, so like my way of thinking about this was like is like generally right, <laughs> but then if you give me the extra information of, by the way, the trace is already thirty percent, then it just all falls apart because then yeah, that, that exactly. just becomes more important. Yeah. So, but it's so it's good that you mentioned that. Otherwise, we would have maybe set you along the wrong path. Um, okay, the hat. Uh, so flame score wise, which ones are you working on right now to like flame on the side? Uh, so I haven't updated it, but I did get my top, my hat, and my um, CRA bottoms mm -hmm. all to uh, sixty four okay. or sixty five flame with no stat, just sixty four, sixty five flame. Sixty five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're like gradually uh, getting those up to like 80 eventually. Yeah, Still someday low. when RNG hits me really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Abso is 90 plus. Abso is 90 plus. Okay, that's it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, you got a 104 on a shoe. If only that three was weapon attack, then it would just be done basically. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Or like 94 and 5 gloves, if that 5 is just all stat, <laughs> one line lower, then you have like one of the best flames ever, but now you have like a good one, like a decent one. But it, if The, the thing is with those boots, those actually came when I got it. Oh, you got them like that? Nice, nice. I, I didn't touch my boots at all, so that was well, good. Lucky sometimes. Yeah. Uh, ding, ding. Okay, Absolab, Guard. Oh, I hate twenty percent boss lines. They hurt me on the inside. Yeah, this is ten to twenty percent boss. Oh. Double meso Sometimes. on the ring, nice. Yeah, the double meso on ring is helping actually because it allows me to one shot with bats when and I farm. Oh yeah, and the nine percent luck too. Yeah, pretty juicy. Uh, where are your 
Yeah, um, I think you missed your pants. What are the pants at right now? Do you remember? Uh, I'm missing pants? Yeah, I think they would be in here, but... They're like more of the accessories and the CRA stuff. Unless they're down here, no. But you oh, said the so. flame was around 64. I'm assuming they're 17 stars, right? Like your other... Uh, they're 16 star. No, 16. 17 star, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 17. And the potential's probably around the same, like either 21 or 18%. Uh, 18. Yeah. 18 is one. Mm -hmm. um, I might actually still have the picture. I don't know. Because I just forgot 17, to add it. 18, 18... Six percent, fifteen, twenty-one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so you have backups for the abzo, and then the rings are just gonna safeguard up to seventeen, right? Yeah. All three, and the belt probably, because I'm assuming you don't have too many backups for that. I have two extra belts. Two extra belts. Are you going to risk that now, or are you going to say, like, I'm no. going to save those uh, up eventually? Those are for when I got a 22, 21. 20 plus, yeah. Okay, and then your weapon there. So, and how much money do you have right now? I don't know if you said before. Uh, right now, I only have, like, a rebuild. Mm -hmm. So it's not a lot. I'm mostly using it on my Kana. So for the Abzo, just get it from 16 to 17 on average, even during the events, even if you don't safeguard, it looks like it's going to cost on average 400 mil each. Okay. So you have one, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Yeah, so that's already 1.6. That's already over half your money. And then if you would do some accessories with these rings are 140... Oh, um, I actually just got a 20% um, luck, 20% mezzo, uh, sweet water. The one I'm missing. Uh, oh, the monocle? The other, yeah, the monocle. I'm mm -hmm. missing that on the screenshots, but I got that for my um, mezzo, so I don't actually have to use my earrings. Ah, okay. And then you can use your damage earrings. Yeah, and then I can use my damage earrings, and it increases my range even more. Yep, yep, because the earrings has a nice uh, flame and a good potential, yeah. yep. Do you think it's better when I'm mezzo farming to get, act, get like, 80% drop so I get uh, higher rates? Yeah, um, I've heard some people say 60. I just, is, I just try to go by 80 because, you know, it also increases your nodes and stuff, which you'd never yeah, really yeah. stop needing those, so... Um, yeah, so what, well, what's your combination set looking like? It's mainly just Mesoptane? Do you have any drop in this set? Right now. Uh, I don't have drop right now. Mm -hmm. I just use coupons. Yeah. Well, as you um, as you go into two farmers, quote unquote, right? Because you're going to have the Arcana up as well. Um, you can you can start double spending on the. Um, on the Mezzo Obtain coupons, and then your amount of Legion coins is going to start dropping pretty quickly if you do that a lot, if you play as much as you say you do. I don't have any coins right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> two per day. Yeah, so uh, so yeah. if you start investing into some extra drop rate to complete your set, that probably will help you a lot in, um, uh, yeah, in making sure that you keep enough money. And as you get stronger with everything and everything gets upgraded, then... Uh, you can rely on the damage from those common equips that are just strong enough to pick up the slack of what you lose on lines of uh, of luck and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, and it'll basically be extra event rings, I guess, that you would be getting to do that. Yeah, SS ring on this character, which is nothing on it. Literally, it's just the fresh SS ring I got the other day. Mm -hmm. And then I also have um, the other event ring in the shop. Yeah, the synergy ring. It's pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah. And I okay. need one more synergy ring, but I guess I won't get it. Yep. Well, it's like a few days of overnighting, right? And then you just buy it on a mule. Yeah. It's pretty... They're pretty cheap. 
My um, worry is once I can't one shot with bats, mm -hmm. uh, because I have too much equips for drop and mezzo. Mm -hmm. Should I try to equal it out to where I can one shot with bats still? Or does it matter that I don't one shot with bats and have all this drop and mezzo? Like, let's say 160 drop and 100 mezzo, or 100 drop, 100 mezzo. Well, I'm honestly already surprised that you one shot with bats. I thought the bats weren't that strong individually. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. decent because they're max nodes on them. Mm -hmm. And I have like 8 mil range. And then also on top of that, whenever I use, um, what's the the one that's beside the shadow sphere? Whenever I use that, I get 10% final damage. Um, that's on like a 12 second cooldown. Oh, the, the dark, the blue one, this one? Yeah, the blue one. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's called either. Dark yeah. Omen or something, I don't know, <laughs> something like the that. Dark Omen's the... Oh, that's the AoE that looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit, okay. But Dark Omen's something. Um, is this your setup always, or do you switch this around, by the way? No, this is my always setup. This is bossing, whatever, everything. Do you ever... Would you consider using Decent Holy Symbol? Uh, Decent Holy Symbol, yes. And, but I feel like, at the moment, there's nothing to remove for it. Once I hit 235, then Decent Holy Symbol would be... Do you, because this is this is last resort, right? Yeah, but I use that while training. You lose it? Okay. Does that... Okay. Do you, like, one shot with the bats during last resort? Is that when... No, just always. But last resort, I'll meet kill, like, when a E-boss comes out or something. I just... Last resort. Mm -hmm. Almost. He kills it. Okay. Um, well, I, I guess the yeah, I guess the thing to the squeeze the holy symbol in would be once you have enough um, levels in your other boost nodes to be able to consolidate them and get rid of some of those. Because now you have some skills in like three nodes, right? Yeah. Hmm, and they're pretty high level too. Do you know what you're eventually going to be getting? Uh, right now I'm just needing. I'm so bad with these nodes. There's like, what is it, like quintuple throw? Yeah, quintuple throw, uh, shadow... The bats, and then like a dark star uh, or something? The star. Like, I'm a main of this class, and I don't even know their name is. <laughs> <sighs> um, skill names are not my forte shadow either, dude. <laughs> I think it's called Shadow Spark. Shadow Spark. Oh, yeah, Spark. That's definitely in the name, yeah. Uh, and then Dark Omen is the fourth one, or? Uh, don't think so. It's, um... Hang on. Dominion. Omen. Oh, yeah, Dominion, yeah. Yeah, Dominion, Omen. Uh, Bats. Shadow Spark. Yeah, quadruple throw, shadow spark, sh uh, shadow bat, and then dark omen, and then shadow stitch and dominion. Is that? Yeah. Five, four, three, two. But shadow stitch, I don't know why that's one of the trios. Does it? I think they added because if you do go for, do go for dominion, then you're at five skills, and then you're at fifteen. So then you might as well do. Um, like go for 18, right? Go for a, a sixth one. Uh, go for a fourth one, I mean, fourth boost node. And yeah. then you might as well double double boost something else that you might use sometimes, I guess. Um, if you leave out Dominion, then you can, you know, then you have four skills that you want to do twice, so then you have eight. So then if you do three boost nodes and then one has one Dominion and the other one has the other one all twice, that could work? I've had it where uh, I had only three, and all three gave me 60. And then I've had it where I took off one of the lines of that and put it onto another one, so I get the four nodes. Mm -hmm. Then all four nodes are level 50. So that's... Okay. So that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the, yeah, the thing I'm concerned with is like, uh, because you have the spark at, on like a level 18 and level 15 and level 13, which is like fine for now. And then eventually, um, once all the, you know, with the leveled up slots and you'll just have two that have 25 and then you want to make sure that you don't have to disassemble the node, but that you can just, um, keep the, um, the, the top level node. Right. And it seems right now that the one that you have with dominion is the lowest level that you have the least committed in. So if you're, um, so what I just mentioned, right. If you go for the three boost node setup and you, uh, is it like important to, to boost dominion twice? Uh, no, uh, basically it's just a filler right now because the levels on that gives me, um, level 60 bats. Mm -hmm. and that's all it's there for. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so I took that away. I'm just at 54. Yeah. But like leveling up dominion itself isn't that important for your damage output, or is it? No, right now it's good for mobbing, but at the moment it's not fully. Okay. So well, so I see two options. One is like where you have four boost nodes, and then you throw in an extra skill, maybe shadow stitch, maybe something else you like using. And then the other one is go for um, combination of three boost nodes, and then you boost dominion once, and then the other four skill each twice. So you get to nine total lines. Um, I guess it'll depend on how many other boost nodes you plan on having unlocked. Oh, sorry, not boost nodes, skill nodes. Yeah. Because um, the decent, I assume, decent advanced blessing will give you something. Decent combat orders might be nice. I don't know how good that is for you. Combat orders does a little bit, increases the damage on uh, quintuple, but... Usually increases your mastery a little bit. I don't know if that one gives any... Any yeah. other stuff? Uh, your Maple Warrior by 1% stat, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it'll be minimal gains on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I could just get uh, boots. Decent combat order boots instead. Um, you could, but you don't want to be like swapping around during bosses. It's not really convenient. Because uh, I, <laughs> I run with a Kinesis who switches to decent sharp eye gloves and it's always a <laughs> always a hassle <laughs> to switch over between the phases and then sometimes not being able to switch back and sometimes well, for I forgetting. Can, I'm pretty sure I can switch during dark sights. I can just dark sight, run over, switch, come back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you feel confident with that, you can do that for sure. Because um, then I think you'll have enough slots to just go for the four setup and think it'll just have that be safer and also more future proof with the boosted dominion i think yeah sounds like a sounds like a solid thing okay and your so your you said your monocle was at 20 percent mezzo and then some luck as well two line 10 percent luck okay or two lines of um uh... 10 percent ah i see I see okay so 20 and 20 yeah okay yeah, but it's not, I have twelve stars in it, so it's not better than my current black bean. I see, I see. Uh, and how much? Hang on, how many items in the boss accessory set are you wearing now? It's not that many, right? One, and then the yeah. earring, and then the ring. Three set. Three. Okay. Uh, what are you using as your uh, your cup? What is your cup at? Because I'm I don't see that one. Oh yeah, I forgot to get cup. I knew I was missing something. <laughs> uh, I think cups at 6% and 64 or 54. Okay, that sounds great. So, One of the two, I yeah. remember. It's like the same tier as your CRA, basically. So if it's uh, beyond the other ones, then you just uh, you know you let it be. <laughs> and if the, uh, the CRA starts creeping up on it, then it comes into the possible rotation for uh, for um flaming at that point yeah exactly and then once i do that i just put the vent flames on it mm -hmm. exactly okay um oh yeah because you're saving with the fountain for the big box yeah okay um okay so is getting the monocle to 17 something you're also thinking about Yes, Sunday? so Monocle is my next item because it's only 12 star right now. Mm -hmm. It's my biggest upgrade if I do get it to 15 at least. Yep. Okay, okay. 
to here to here. Weapon good. Ring. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and at that point, where to go from there? Once you got all of that done, that's when you start. Um, well, I guess we can go over this real quick, like your legion and your stuff. Yeah, legion's like forty four hundred or something. Oh yeah, eight coins. I see. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't have any. I get like a hundred per day. And I wish the, the, the eight for your coins would fall sideways, so it would be the infinity sign, right? So you just <laughs> buy all the buy all of the ones you want. Um oh you're an IED and in critical rate. Yeah. My IED is super low. Mm-hmm. I'm at seventy one right now. And that's with ID page. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, so how's the... Um, are you working on those links and legion-wise as well? Yeah, so right now I'm working on uh, resistance because I don't have any um, spirit of freedom, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one, and, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just working on resistance. Right now I'm doing a blaster. Uh, it's at level 100, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then once I get it up to 140, I'm going to go and tear, uh, burn with the new, because we got it last night, I believe. Do you know what your uh, functional IED is? 67. Between, uh, wait, lower than your 71? Wait. So basically, the 71 right now is with my um, link mm -hmm. and everything. Everything. That's it. Seventy-one, and then without the link, it's sixty-seven. Oh, okay. So, um, so I have the term functional IED because um, you have the visual number that you see in your stat window, right? That's what you're talking about now. Um, but there are also IED things that happen only on on hit effects. So when you have things like your boost nodes giving you extra twenty percent, or maybe passive hyper skills, or debuffs on bosses that cause certain effects for certain classes. I can actually give you a higher effective or functional IED than um, what you see in your window. Yeah, um, I think only that gives me more ID is my mage link. Your mage link? You don't have like a don't you have like a passive hyper or something that gives you ID? Uh, no, Dominion gives crit, crit. and damage, and then. What is the uptime on Dominion, by the way? It's not really long. I think it's like 40 like, seconds or something. Oh, okay. Like every, what, two minutes or? Every two minutes, 40 seconds. Okay. So you can't really rely on that for crit rate either. So ideally you'd want 12% more crit rate? Uh, right now I'm at 95. Oh, so 95. Okay. Uh, because if you look at it right now, it's 88 without sharp eyes. So it goes to 98. Uh, I see. Okay. And then once you get two more points, you can put them in your hyperstats. I think we only need 95 crit rate because all of our abilities give plus five on our nodes. Ah, is it like level 20 plus five crit rate and then level 40, it's 20% IED? Is that what you get? Yeah. Okay. Well, so that 20% IED would also be like added to your functional, right? Because if all of your skills that you're using are boosted to that point, then effectively you're just actually having 20% IED higher all the time. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, so the functional IED is, is really low. Um, and this is without the Lumi link, I'm assuming? This is with Lightwash. Damn. It's with, yeah. So right now, the reason why it's that way is because of the superior earring I'm missing. Right. So once I get this pair of earring, I get 30% boss, 30% height. Out of the... Um, yeah, so then you'll go over 80, but then you still want to be over 90 if... I'm at 84 with it. Mm. I'm still missing a lot of ID. Yeah. Um, let's check here. Um, yeah, so what you'll probably want is the mage... Um, 
The Mage Explorer skill, max stack to 6. Because I can give you a line of 9%, right? Yeah. Uh, also, you have, a, you have like a little bit of a, a mix and match now with your... Is, is this the setup you, you typically always have for your link skills? Uh, it's mostly for training. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I'm doing currently. Mm -hmm. Because you do have Fury Unleashed, Light Wash... Um, those two specifically, and Thief's Cunning, those three specifically only really help a lot if you're um, if you're bossing, right? Yeah. Um, and hopefully you want to not need Focus Spirit either when you're mobbing, and then have that be strictly bossing because then it's the critical rate and the moss damage. Um, so hopefully uh, you want to get the critical rate and that um, that they'll allow you to use more. Um, Damaging skills that will always be effective. Stuff like um, you have the arc, uh, like the rate, the demon avenger link, for example. Yeah, the ten percent damage, right? Yeah, like a wild rage or something. I don't know the name. Um, yeah, I have it, but it's rank one. Oh, uh, I see. I see. I see. I like the yeah. Um, what else? The when you're bossing, the you constantly debuff bosses, right? With like everything you do, you have like a little bats. Uh, yeah, everything like, just mm -hmm. gets like, debuffs. So I get more damage. Mm -hmm. Like for bossing, the Kadena link would be really good for you. No, oh, yeah, I have rank one Kadena, so you get that to one forty. Yeah, I guess boosting uh, some of your characters. So, are, are there a lot of your characters like stuck around like le between level seventy and a hundred or something? Yeah, so I have eight characters stuck between that. Mm -hmm. And then the rest are... Yeah, are like 120, 200. 140, and yeah. even up to 200. 200, I have like eight 200s. Okay, okay. So are you are you currently working on that? Just doing like one at a time? Or do you just really hate those classes? And <laughs> I really just hate those classes. I uh -huh. want to play them. And then I use the burnings to actually get stuff I need. Like, currently, my problem is uh, H-Mag. Whenever I try to do H-Mag, I die instantly. So I'm like, okay, I need to go and get the resistant links so I don't die instantly as they come out. Yeah, yeah. every time you can, so you can walk back to the boss without getting pelted by <laughs> infinite balls, yeah. Yeah, exactly. For but sure. the balls aren't really my problem. It's more of the um, him knocking you back, having the dark sight run over, hit him a couple times thrown back again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I die res die res die res die yeah it's really a balancing for HMAC specifically it's really a balancing act of staying as far away from him as you can while staying in the blue that's that's like the balance that you want to constantly be at and if you see that he webs you um, you want to start moving slightly back and as soon as he blue swipes you, you have to get like a good feel for what the range of the attack is but as, as long as soon as he swipes you just step back a little bit, and then after that, you can move into it again immediately. Uh, and you have an up jump as well, right? Yeah, we have an up jump. So uh, it's a little bit more risky, of course, right? Because you have the balls coming from the ceiling. But if he does swipe and he didn't web, and you can also up jump over the blue swipe so you don't get knocked back from that as well. I usually like to save Dominion 4 when he does that. When I'm, you know, when I first get into the map. I'll do my burst, I'll bind him, get into like 20% health. Mm -hmm. The thing gets really small and then hell breaks loose. You know, it kills me like 40 times. And I yeah, kill yeah. Him it's yeah. honestly, it's all about just knowing that the mechanics are bullshit and that it's not really a test of skill, it's just a test of patience. You just stay dead. You just stay dead a long time. And every time you die, you just stay dead. But just remember to jump back to the middle of the map, right? So you don't get into the side with the fog and everything. The fog is actually countered by dark sight, so I don't have to oh, worry about okay, it. Oh, okay, never mind. I forgot that you can just ignore mechanics as a, yeah, as a yeah, thief. Yeah, I yeah. just ignore everything, you know. <laughs> but you, you want to stay dead just to get your cooldowns back, and you're basically just using your 15 lives to get all of your cooldowns back. And then you just, you know, you just go for another bind, and you just burst them in the second one. It's, yeah. It's, it's super weird. I can still lay Lotus and Damien, but I can't do age man. It's like, some classes just don't do well in certain bosses um like my marksman i i don't really feel lotus i don't like doing either because of my hitbox of my main attack 
But like Damien, I have no problem doing Damien with my marksman. Like it doesn't feel bad at all. But like yeah, HMAG is still not my favorite because you know the distance between uh, the characters and the swipe and you just got to get to that point where you're so strong where you don't have to worry about the mechanics anymore. But at that point, it's kind of silly. You just run in and just fuck them up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, my problem is on uh, Lotus, the lasers at the beginning. Since I'm a Nightwalk, I have to jump and do my damage. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, I just have to, as long as I can pass that first phase without dying. Oh, yeah. You have to be like exactly in the middle to be able to jump without hitting your head in the laser. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And if you hit your head in the laser, you just die. And then yeah. it's has to speed up, and you're just like, okay, yeah. I can. I'm like, or it's those three time. three seconds that the Mihail knockback link isn't working, and then you just get one robot just pushes you into the laser. Yeah, robots don't matter. I usually dark sight hit robots with dark sight, and then I go and start doing damage. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So just stop. Uh, that. Well, so one tip I can give you for H Mag is when you go in. When the blue is still big, um, just get him to like halfway without all your bursts, and then try to pop your burst and bind and, and burst him down with all your good stuff. Yeah. Maybe that Could like that. switches. Uh, maybe that switches the rolls on him. Yeah, makes it easier because he has the blue, and then I forgot to turn off pet, so I just auto heal and heal myself for nothing. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I'm not used to using auto heal, so that might be another dimension to the fight that I don't know about. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So once we get all of that, and you know, you slowly build up your legion and everything, make sure that the critical rate is in place. Um. As you grow your legion, the chunk of IED you get from your legion is going to be way more impactful, right? Because of the uh, multiplicative nature. Yeah. Um. Then comes the time where you either, well, just, yeah, so it's going to be either just like three landing all of your shit. Um, and then, so if you, there's two main ways, right? If you want to go past 17 stars, there's the, the old, um, I'm just going to make backups and I'm just going to try to star force it. It's generally advised if you either have, um, a lot of money or if you have, um, already really good potential on your items yeah um because then you know trace transfer all that all that good stuff and not having to transfer hammer and recu um the other option is getting the backups of the lower level super high star force there don't have the safeguard um very low risk transfer hammer and then recube them up and then because your transfer hammer you keep your target flame so if you already have a good flame so for example for your cape that could be a good option uh very easy to get backups um as the enraged sakum capes um you know you basically get one every week right yeah um try to get that one at 20 21 stars if you have it and then either you know wait for a cube event if you want to wait for that or you just transfer over into this one you keep your current flame and then you just re-tier it up and recube it you only have two lines so you don't have like a lot of money lost there but you have a lot of value gained in the fact that you had never had to risk booming your absolute cape past 17 which then it becomes considerable right because it keeps dropping keeps going up keeps dropping etc etc and you save all the time for not having to do the weekly um the weekly bosses uh, sorry the weekly uh the weeklies for dark world tree or scrapyard right yeah um currently i have like 200 uh damien cores you know the small mm -hmm. things from the weekly and i have like 150 lotus ones from the other weeklies mm -hmm. and then each of the boss ones i have like 30 of each mm -hmm. maybe somewhere there it's like 30 and 40 somewhere there and then I have like three of each cloaks, three of each gloves, three of each boots. So I yep. have enough if I wanted to probably just get this guy to 20. Yeah, so that would be a thing that you just need a lot of money for. Because if you're... Yeah, just uh, need money. That's yeah. my whole thought process of getting an Arcana farmer. Yep. Get the Arcana up. Just literally brain dead grind for three weeks. <laughs> um, 12 hours a day. Watch yep. a movie. You know? Yep. Or some weird guy streaming or something, yeah. Yeah, or, or yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, kind of turn your brain off and just 
make a lot of yeah like if, if that's if that's the way you want to do it yeah then and you already have the backups then that seems the the more efficient way for you to go about it that but mainly you're just holding out and just waiting for the next event and then that's like your green light to to go crazy basically i have to not wait till this event i have to wait till the one after so i have enough time to farm exactly like, i want to get like 10 to 20 bill mezzo and then do that so then i can get increased range yep by like you know yeah then you just do yeah and what you, then in that there's also like multiple approaches that you can do you can do one item at a time or you can just do one star at a time per item and like frog leap them up uh, what do you think's better for long process like so if you want to do one at a time i think that is better if you have like a lot of money um so if you're like talking ten to twenty bill, it's prob it might be better to try um, to try like one star at a time. Because if you're trying to go up to like twenty or twenty one, there's a very good chance. Well, there there is like a very decent chance you you might not make it with that money, and then you end up just with losing all your money and getting nothing for it. Whereas in the beginning, with that kind of money, you're very much more likely to get like three or four items up to eighteen or maybe one to nineteen with that money and then once you're trying to make the jump from 19 to 20 or to 21 then it's probably better to take it one item at a time okay so i do 21 cloak and then 21 boots 21, and then go 22 after everything's 21 yeah you could do that um and then it'll depend on how far you are but these are like very expensive things to do so it'll uh depend on at that time if you're still like around your same level or if you're already running um the hard bosses at that point um, because there's also going to be, you're going to be getting a lot of arcane power still, right? That's going to give you a lot of stat. And then there's going to be some items that can still go to legendary. And then some items you might already want to three line because you are, if you're like guaranteed going to be on that item and you already know that you're going to star force on that item, then getting three line might be a better upgrade before you go like past 18, for example. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And do you believe that 20 starring everything first and then going for uh, 22 after that? Or just constantly just one star at a time for everything? Um, yeah, that would, I would say that would, like, so let's say that you're saving up for that event, right? And then you get the, like, it's a situation like this where you have like four bill and then it's like, oh, by the way, this Sunday there's a 5, 10, 15, like... <laughs> Right at that point, you don't have that much, and then maybe trying to get one or two stars on some items is still a decent gain, and you can take advantage of the event. Um, but if you're saving already for a longer period of time, then I believe more in like doing one at a time and like pushing to 20 until you have like everything there, and then saving up money again, and then trying to push from 20 to 21, get everything there, and then try to push 21 to 22. And that, that so like the chance that you blow up between from 19 to 20 is like is higher by quite a bit that you blow up from 20 to 21 so if you manage to get to 20 it's kind of like the hard part's over for now 20 to 21 is is reasonably feasible but then the 21 to 22 can be very expensive so um i know 22 is posited as like this holy grail of like your shit is done um but it's also very likely that your stuff blows up between 21 and 22 and that you have to start all over whereas the, investing that money in other ways maybe in just like mass flaming all your stuff and getting everything uh you know more like dotting the i's and crossing your t's and um or improving the potential on some like let's say your secondary uh your princess no secondary starts getting like an okay line but could maybe be improved you know like mass cubing those or if you get to your arcane weapon you know like getting a very good flame on that maybe at that point those become like way more important upgrades to make than to get to try to go from 21 to 22 abzo because yeah i have like 20 21 um items on my strongest characters and i'm able to do that content just fine yeah so 22 is not like, right. the necessary like it feels good right to have it like done um uh, but it's more of a mental thing where you know i always say like just because you can upgrade doesn't mean you have to right yeah so i feel like 17 star everything get three lines stat on all my potentials first mm -hmm. and then go and waste all my mezzo yeah, if you know for sure that that's the way you want to do it, you want to just get the backups and you just want to 
power through it on the items themselves, then you can definitely go three line first, yeah, because then you'll always have the trace to fall back on. Um, and yeah, just like slowly um, flame up your uh, your CRA stuff, um, and don't underestimate also like star forcing up your CRA right because you probably have way more backups there. So comparatively, it's going to be quite a bit cheaper because you have a lot of backups. <laughs> yeah, like three hundred reach token. Yeah, exactly. So don't uh, like Abzo gives a lot of extra stuff, of course, but don't like forget about that and uh, and make sure you also have enough dineros if you want to do the same thing with your monocle and sweet water. Um, Pen, uh, Monocle. Monocle okay. and Sweetwater Tattoo, sorry. Um, yeah, do you have like a... Um, are, are you doing like Arc for uh, Dominator and stuff like that? or? Um, I basically have been farming Arc constantly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I have a lot of mech... whatever... mecha... <laughs> Mecha the Mechanator, yeah, yeah, the green one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of those. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you just need that red one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that, uh, that's like the plan after that, right? Once you're going like past 17 on those things, is that you get like a good Mechanator, uh, <laughs> Dominator uh, to 16, and that good flame transpose over. And then that, at that point, hopefully you'll have your superior earring back, right? Yeah, and then. Uh, You'll replace the what is it reinforced pendant with the uh, with the transposed uh, sweet water then. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, and, and at that point you'll be moving your uh, once you're like three lining all of your stuff, then you're moving your unique equips all to to legendary as well because then you know well I'm going for three line so then it's a significant upgrade. But until then you did very well in just keeping it unique. If it's three line, then fuck it, it just stays unique. It's good enough there. Yeah, like the Kana treasure ring. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And your tattoo, like, you know, unless you know for sure that you're going to push at least a few percent above that, it's, you know, I always say, like, well, if you're going to push for, try to push for 3% more there, then why not just recube something else that can get 3% already in Legendary? Like, instead of yeah. trying to go for 3% more plus a tier up, which is just going to cost you more, right? It's just, it's not logical. It feels like, oh, it's yellow. It has more room for growth, but it doesn't really have more room for growth. It actually has the same amount, but it costs more. So it becomes lower priority as a result. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like my 18% uh, CRA gear can go up to 21. Yeah. Well, the CRA is, is, is kind of the, pr the problem child there because they have a lot of junk lines. So on average, they do cost quite a bit to get to decent lines. Uh, yeah. But we do have a calculator for that, so you can throw it in there, uh, and then it'll tell you what the average expected cost is going to be to re to reach a certain um, what's exclamation mark cubing to reach a certain amount of um, percentage. So let's say we do the hat uh, with red cubes. It's already legendary. It's level one fifty. We want to get it to what is it twenty one uh, twenty one plus stat right. Calculate. Um, or let's say 24. We want to go for 24, right? Yeah. So it's, uh, average cost 3.2 bill. Now let's say we take your shoe. Boop. At 160. And we try to go for... Um, so 24 equivalent would be... Uh, Uh, Would be twenty thirty seven, right? Twenty four would be nine 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 six. So that should be thirteen uh no, that should be ten ten seven, yeah, so twenty seven. Oh, okay. Okay, average is uh oh that's about the same. And if you go up to thirty here it goes up to 4.2 and then the hat that w for the hat that would be 27 that goes up to 5.6 and if the hat goes yeah. up to 30 percent then you get the beautiful number of 19.5 Right, that's that's the like magnitude of money we're, we're talking about now, right? Yeah, it gets 
pretty expensive. <laughs> it's pretty dicey, right? Yeah. That's like the part I'm at. Like, for me to upgrade my gear, I need at least like yeah. 20 bill. And that's for one item. And it's. You see, and then for the shoe to get the 33 is like 13.2, which is like yeah. a third less, right? Yeah, exactly. That's only two thirds. So. Up to a certain point, definitely worth. But then, if you're pushing and to min maxing, then the CRA stuff actually gets pretty low in the list. Yeah. Uh, you want to use black cubes if you want to double prime. Yeah, and then another option, of course, is your uh, your glove, right? To try to go for two lines of crit damage. But that like that comes into play then as well when you're like at twenty or. Maybe beyond, and then you start into like min max literally everything. Then you can definitely think about the um, about the gloves, about the double crit line there. Yeah, the gloves are seventeen and eight, so they're yeah. Pretty so deep. for now they're <laughs> they're fine. Yeah. yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, okay, so is there anything specifically you feel like we haven't touched on at all that is being forgotten here? Um, I guess we talking, didn't talk about your inner ability yet. Oh, yeah, inner. Uh, Do you have a game plan for that? It's 20 bombs. Yeah, just uh, mezzo. Just get a mezzo, just so I can, you know get something and then try to go for second line uh drop 15 percent drop mm -hmm. you're talking about the kana now right no i'm talking about my night night lord or night walker until okay um he gets a 250 okay. because i still have a while to go right so to grind i'd rather just, that's true that's true uh, farm on my kana for mezzos mm -hmm. get some gear get this guy going up a little bit higher mm -hmm. and then from there Level my other Kana, mm -hmm. so that I can catch this guy. Yep. And then I could start leveling this guy to 250. I'm, I'm with you, yeah. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. So you have like a temporary Mez Obtain 1, save up honor experience. Then when you have enough money and you're kind of like settled, you're 250, you're probably not going to be leveling that much anymore. Miracle Circulate, good second line, lock that one. Roll during a 50% off inner ability for your top line back. Yeah, exactly. All right. Then, Sounds solid. Yeah, get, you get critical rate probably, right? Uh, no, I don't need no? crit. Uh, don't actually, maybe. Yeah, I That's feel like a... boss. Night and... Walker. Boss crit rate attack is what it says. Yeah, so you'd want to get that crit rate on a circulator. Oh, okay. Yeah, attack. You will see attack. You will see twenty-one attack, and it'll be very tempting, but don't do it. I did it on both my DA and on my uh, marksman, and I regret it because I've never hit a single line of crit on. The, I was like, I'll just get you know a little bit of crit on a third line, but I just never hit it. It's so rare. Yeah. You want to search for that crit rate, yeah, and that way you'll be able to roll out of your um, maybe some hyperset in your legion, maybe some hyperset in your um, hyper uh, hyperstats, but mostly out of the link skills because the value of the link skills is like significantly higher if you can get roll out of the um phantom for example yeah because i hate doing phantom <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's only right but literally phantoms rank one it's level like 70 something <laughs> as soon as you get that first rank you're like nope <laughs> immediately uh, out of there <laughs> dude phantom is so annoying do you have a, um do you have a marksman uh no. Uh huh. Because that's also critical rate for your legion, so that could be a little bit nicer yeah. as well. I have my night lord mostly for. Yeah, I saw that rate. one. Yeah. And you got it up to yeah. two fourteen because you kind of liked it a little bit more. Well, right? it was my main uh, uh, for a while. Uh, I want to actually bring it to a dual blade, and then because I also have another night lord at two hundred. Mm hmm. So I need a. This guy has the potable badge. This uh -huh. guy has. Full superior, as full CRA. Oh, uh, the from the olden days. <laughs> yeah, from the olden days, right? And this guy, just, all he needs is Absa, and then he'll be where my main is. Yeah, it's crazy how yeah every new character has this giant uphill battle to get any kind of superior going, and then back in the day you could just get carries. You see the change though no, with the coins. I can solo. Um, oh yeah, yeah, like two oh five. Yeah. 
that's a night lord like yeah yeah, yeah. You, have a, you have like the perfect kit yeah now the oof it takes a little bit longer and the phase two isn't nearly as uh straightforward well i found out by watching someone that you can skip all the mechanics if you're on the very far left or very far right oh yeah there's Either. like a spot on the right that's a safe spot i heard yeah yeah so very far right or very far left on the edge right at the edge right before you fall off if you're right there mm -hmm. all the mechanics go away but can you still hit with a night lord from that far yeah you can hit with the night lord and you can also hit with night walker damn really i thought oh man okay mm -hmm. i would have thought that you wouldn't be able to hit that far anymore with uh with night lord because of it's because historically night lord was like it was night lord and bow monster were like the long range characters but at this point, Night Lord is not even like a long range character anymore. It's kind of like a melee class, right? <laughs> you like with your spread shot, you gotta like stick to your you don't, <laughs> target. You don't spread shot. You just uh, yeah. quad quad throw and yeah, that's it. You just sit there and quad throw. Hopefully, you don't stop uh, your attacks. Yeah, and then so because the, the yeah, the assassin's marks just kill the potatoes and yeah, and yeah. it's like old Helix, but takes. 10 times longer. Yeah, it takes, it takes forever. But it's good to know. Okay. And then, yeah, and then with the other Night Lord, you'll hopefully get the superior that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we get to that. Um, and then yeah. these all are going to be uh, CRA mules, just so I can get Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Get, yep. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, like. What I talked about with the link skills, like as you get more um, characters to higher levels, you'll, you'll have more um, freedom to move around skills and to get more like optimal for the current situation you're in. And that'll help you um, just squeeze out a little bit more damage in every situation. Yeah, and since Nightwalkers don't need HP, we don't make Warriors, we don't make uh, Pirate Blessing, mm -hmm. all that could do with the um you have decent burst right you could do with the angelic buster maybe i have rank two abs okay one. so yep that's fine yeah so the explorer mage maybe the hoyoung for now because if the ied is this much of a of a problem right yeah could I be do. something to consider because the ied is probably what's holding you back the most from really uh bringing your damage into the the enemy's face um the other yeah. thing is also like familiars coming out right so we're gonna have to see how you might be able to fix your ied just with familiars if you get lucky but we'll have to see the numbers and we'll have to see the percentages to see if it's even going to be a thing anymore yeah so if they if it was how it was when it first came out would that mean mm -hmm. uh, ied would be my best bet or would it still be boss ied like with so the main thing is that people would historically get sometimes would get one line of ID on their emblem if they um if they weren't gonna go for like eight K Legion and get like everything filled basically. Um uh, if you were going for the big legion then you typically didn't need the line of ID because we had the thirty percent from the codex. But since that is gone, that's gonna have to be replaced by the badge bonus from your new codex, which is not adequate. Um, and hopefully like one or maybe two lines it kind of depends right if it's 30 percent just one line would probably be enough and one of your familiars but if it's two that you need uh if 15 percent is like the highest really possible percentage that you can get to then two lines of 15 percent might be useful in your familiars to still get your id to a, to an acceptable level for most characters uh, and if you can't get that or that's going to be too difficult then still having one line of id on your emblem might still be the go-to Okay. So that would be for your Princess No. then, if you get like two lines of attack, one line of IED. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see how, how relevant it is to get those higher level ones, and what percentages you can get on that. Alright. And then on top of that, Superior Earring will yep. bring me yep, up. Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. It'll be the 30%, so that will give you at least 9% in your stat window. Uh, make sure just to just to be safe that you do the calculation for the functional ID, right? I don't know if you've seen the calculator. Yeah, you have a bunch of calculators here. Um, uh, yeah, exclamation mark ID has the this one right here, and then you can just put all the sources in so that you can have this number to work with, and then that number you can uh, put against the um, the progression number. Okay. Hi, Arya. 
uh, and then boop, and then you can look here where the number is that you want to have right here, functional ID. So what you're aiming for. So you want to aim for like a functional of 95 is what you're going to be looking for. Okay. So overall, though, I want to get to 98. And like then... for and yeah, this is if you're because at certain point you just have so many sources of everything that the even, um, essentially you're just gonna have so many extra big buffs and everything giving you damage and boss damage coming in that just lines of boss damage are gonna be pretty much always replaced with either attack or with IED, um, just because of the passive damage that we get on reboot. In non-reboot, they'll still keep stacking boss damage, um, but we'll get ID and, and attack instead, because it's always about the balance between those three, right? Okay, and then, all right, that's good. Yeah. Um, I also have another question. Yeah, uh, go for it. I don't know if you know it, but it's about like Nightwalker classes. Uh, basically for us, we have throwing stars. Yeah. Right now I have 30 sets of um, Crystal Lilies, do you mm -hmm. think it's best if I should spend the year to get all those changed into balance series? Or... Is that one attack extra? One attack extra, yep. Uh, I don't think that's worth <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I know, like back in the day, if you could have made some, I guess it's it's an extra attack, but yeah, one, at one attack is about like three stat difference, right? Um, yeah. later on in the game. So there's basically like one flame on one item giving you three more or doing all of those dailies, all of those weeklies to switch all your stars. Yeah, and that's also the cosmetic, you know, how cool it looks. Yeah, if you really care about how it looks, then that's 100% up to you. Uh, it does look pretty cool, but I think they're kind of like obnoxiously big too. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's the pro that's the point. I want a really massive. So yeah, yeah, you yeah. want yeah, massive. Okay. Yeah, you, you, and you don't have one. You don't have any, have any from like back in the day on the Night Lord either. You just yeah, made... I do. I have four sets of balance series. Oh, okay, okay. And how long does bo uh, four sets take you? Thirty minutes of training. And then the, then you're done with those. Okay. Then I'm done with them, and then I have to use all my um, Sylvies. Like, um, normally, if I do a totem, mm -hmm. I'll lose 13 sets. On one totem. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you would keep them for bossing, right? If you're Because if you're mobbing, no one else can see them anyway. Yeah, I guess so. And I'm also you're... using eggs as well, so it's, no one sees them anyway. Oh, <laughs> you're covering them with eggs. Yeah, like, uh -huh. functionally, um, you know, yeah, just... F Functionally, uh, not worth it all. But if you care about the looks, then it's completely up to you, right? It's, it's same with like NX and how things look, and you know, I don't think it doesn't really yeah, matters. It's but a year, if, right? a year of doing yeah. these weekly. Yeah, it is quite a lot. Yeah, just for like a three stat gain, basically later on in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's worth no. Uh, yeah, is there anything else? Um, that... Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, I'm just thinking. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that should be... Everything that I've been thinking about. Okay. If there's like one or two more questions that you come up with later, or you had something written down and you didn't don't find it now or whatever, uh, you could just always message me on Discord or ask me in the chat, I mean... Yeah, I always... If I have questions, I'll ask. Yeah, then at least I'll have something to answer to, you know? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just sitting here, just wasting my time anyway. So if you give me an interesting question, I can pretend like I have content, you know? I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, then I guess we're good? Yeah, we're good. Thank All right, you. good luck on everything. Yeah. And uh, I know I'm waiting until the game comes up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, another, what, hour? Um, it should be 44 minutes, I guess. Yeah. If they don't go late, yeah. Yeah, DMT? DMT, hope not, hope not. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the chat. Alright, see ya. Alright, thanks. Bye. Bye.